let's start by taking a look at this matrix as a whole. I can see that there are three major shapes at play in this matrix, circles, squares, and diamonds. And those shapes don't seem to be mixing at all. Each element is either all circles, all squares, or all diamonds. So that leads me to eliminate answer choices A and C right off the bat because they are a mixture of different shapes. Another thing I notice is the missing pieces from every single shape. There is not a single complete shape uh, amongst this uh, matrix, and so that means answer choice B is also incorrect because it shows a shape made of three complete circles, and that doesn't exist anywhere else in the matrix. Now, let's take a look at our diagonals. If we take a look at our 159 diagonal, we can see a potential pattern related to these shapes, and if we look at our 249 diagonal, we can see a potential pattern related to the orientation of these missing pieces. So let's visualize both of those diagonals. In our first diagonal of our 159 diagonal setup, um, we can see that all of the shapes are circles. In our second diagonal, all of the shapes are squares. And in the third diagonal, all of our shapes are diamonds. So that tells me that our missing element has to be a circle. Now, if we visualize our 249 diagonals, the first diagonal shows us a pattern in the missing sections of the shapes. They are all collectively on the left side of the three shapes in this left, left, left pattern. If we skip over to our third diagonal, we can see a pattern of left, left, right, left, left, right, and left, left, right. So that means if we follow this logic, we should, in this middle diagonal, our 249 diagonal, left, right, left, left, right, left, we should have three circles that follow the pattern left, right, left, as far as their missing pieces go. We already eliminated answer choices A, B, and C. So looking at D, E, and F, the only one that follows the left, right, left pattern is answer choice 